what from the map was a right around a three hour drive took us seven and a half hours. Now the rain's starting to come down and the wind's blowing really hard. I mean, no joke, with that wind, you are you will be rowing down river. Well, our shuttle bike either was towed or stolen. Still stuck in this house with a mind full of doubts. Tired of staring out the window. Eating too much, drinking too much. Tired of watching the grass grow. Channel two, channel three, back to channel two. I watched everything in my queue. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going. Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming. Need an RV, no plans, just you and me. I need to go somewhere. Our first ever meetup event was a huge success. We were stoked to meet so many of you in person and it really got us fired up to head to our next location. We're sad. We're leaving our good friends that we made last night. I'm really sad. Steve's really sad too. We had to, uh, hold on. <laughs> like I said. I can't see anything y'all are doing or saying. Are we well, if you looked out your window and saw me, I, I made eye contact with you. Yeah, you were staring at your phone. I know. I was texting you. I give up. Your phone. No, you weren't. Yeah, I, <laughs> I give up. Yeah, yeah. We made some really good friends, and this is the day we have to leave them. We were so pumped to do this meetup at Four Noses, and we were so stoked with the turnout. The beer was great. The, the people were even better. It was just a good time. Let us know, though. We were all talking. Let us know where we need to do another meetup like this. Denver obviously showed out for us. Uh, we want to see what other cities we can do this same type of thing at. But uh, yeah, super stoked about the, the turnout. We're going to go hook up the trailer to the bus, and the bus is driving. <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> well, before we leave the front range, our friends here, Four Noses, they're going to hook us up with some beer to take for the next couple days, the rest of our trip. This is like Christmas Day for Adam Hudson. Like, how many how many cases do we have? Eight. Damn, Adam, are you just so happy? <laughs> it's all I've ever needed. This is, uh, <laughs> this is we appreciate all the help. Man. Absolutely. Yeah, this is so fun. Really glad you definitely man. Put Great all this together. Yeah, cheers. This has been yeah, too much fun. Appreciate it. I believe that everything up until that point was kind of a precursor to the trip. <laughs> We headed southwest and we had our first location in mind. I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river in my soul. I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river in my soul. I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain in my soul. I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain, I got joy like a fountain in my soul. Singing on low. So the fishing here is not good. Um, I left uh, because I knew that I would catch as many fish in the bus as I would on the river. So I came back and uh, lay down in my bed. Yeah, things are a little, we're not doing good right now. Wow. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no my gosh. That's a cat. I wow.
So we uh, put in the map, headed to a different spot, and we realized that there's a road closure up here due to uh, some construction, and we're only able to get through at certain times during the day. And if we didn't go ahead and head over here, we were not going to be able to make it to the spot that we plan to fish tomorrow. All right, boys, I've learned a few things in my days. Been stuck in traffic for a while. Always be prepared. Sorry, let's get this correctly. Always have a lawn chair. Mm. Well, if you're gonna wait for traffic, you might as well have a cold beer while you wait. Cheers. We had come from a scene like around Denver with a lot of people and then we turned on this dirt road and we got out of the bus and I remember it was just quiet. What from the map was a right around a three hour drive took us seven and a half hours. It's been a long day. Ever since the meetup, you know, we really hadn't done much fishing, and uh, yeah, today was long. But we are uh, we're in a new valley, we're in a new zone, and uh, we're feeling really good about the next couple days. close the door the uh the wind's blowing about 22 miles an hour directly upstream and uh temperatures roughly uh, i would say about 20 degrees colder than when we left our boat ramp down river We got up this morning, this is the earliest we've gotten up this trip. We were all pretty stoked. But now the rain's starting to come down and the wind's blowing really hard. It sucks, I mean, we've been driving for like three days. We haven't really fished and uh, this is gonna be our big day of fishing. So, kind of a bummer. No joke, with that wind, you're, you will be rowing downriver all day. Let's get a hot cup of coffee and let's reset. And what I'm hoping is that this thing can set in and the, the winds will die down. Because I don't care about the cold or the rain. I, I don't care about the cold or the rain right now. It's that, it's that wind is what's going to make it damn near impossible. Yep. Rowing for five and a half miles. So, I was assigned a task by the driver, Adam, to find a good breakfast spot. Thank you. My skill set, I've learned over the years, I can, I can spot a good breakfast, I can snuff them out. And then the local uh, dad's green jalapeno sauce. So just for the viewers, can you give us a couple tips of what yeah. to look so, for? Yeah, so some tips would be, when we showed up, you remember I was pointing things out. I said, look at that car right there. What does it say on the back? What did, what did it say? Semper Fi. Yeah. And then there was another one that said <laughs> Vietnam. Vietnam War Vet. Yeah. Something about veterans, they know a good breakfast. Yes. I don't know what they were doing over there, but they were they were fighting for our country, I know. But yeah. gosh, they, they can snuff out a good breakfast. So we came in here and there were a bunch of 80-year-old cowboys talking to each other. <laughs> and I immediately knew I was in the right place because that's Adam and I's kind of people. And then looking at the menu, I was just like, man, this looks awesome. And then finally ordering it, these portions are insane. 10 out of 10 would eat here again. And then we were fueled up and we had what we needed to once again attempt to get back on the river. So it looks like our plan to wait out the storm right, kind of paid off. It is bright and sunny now. 
finally ready to get out of here. Had a little setback this morning that you saw. Um, finally got our boats out here. Everything is loaded up. Red beer's on deck, and I think we're ready to get fishing here. So let's see if we can't find some fishies out there. fish in the trough and then that murky line find something kind of maybe hiding in that murky stuff as you can see conditions are way better than the first time we pulled up to this boat ramp we've got spotty sun which is kind of cool at least letting us kind of gauge depth a little bit uh, the, one of these feeder creeks is pumping in some pretty silty water, um, which is making it kind of interesting because one side of the river is a little muddy, other side of the river is more clear. So uh, that's a little weird, but we're, we're definitely finding some eats. We're getting a lot of interest in the fly, but we're not getting many fish to eat it. Oh, you dirty He charged it. Yeah. Oh, there was an eat. He didn't commit, he just, he followed it out. So figured we'd kind of switch things up a little bit, maybe try a little bit different size, profile, action, depth, something, we gotta key it in. So that's what we're working on now. Yeah, this is awesome. I cannot believe we haven't caught a fish right there. There we go again, oh my gosh. Dude, came out and slapped it. That one's not half bad. Come on now. Yeah. Woo. It's a good brown. That's snaky. Boom, oh, put it there. It's good fish. We've been kind of grinding today. We've had a lot of looks and not a ton of eats put on an olive sculperino. I mean, this thing no longer hit the water when this fish ate. We had some weather blow in on us maybe halfway through the day or something. Look at this man working hard right here. Oh man. That's usually the tall tale. Yeah. Is that inclement weather brings out decent streamer fishing. Alright, bundled up, let's do this. Soft water, usually as shallow as possible. 
And so that's what we were hitting. I had a nice little drop off into the riffles there, and I'm just targeting that soft water. And it's kind of funny. Went three for three, lost the first two, immediately casting back in, hooking up, and then finally got this bad boy. And look, he's a little small. Look, he, look how pretty he is. I think it shows that if you can get on the water, just be fishing in those times when the weather sucks, nobody else wants to be out in the water, the fish are gonna respond. fish we've been looking for. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, See ya. There he was. Yep. Wow. Murder train. Yeah, good fish. <laughs> oh, f that's one to the tally, guys. Clean off my stove. That's not my stuff. All right, I'd like to interrupt this video to talk about a helpful tool that we used when planning for this trip. If you are anything like us, you are constantly seeking out new places to fish, new trails to explore, and trying to distinguish between public and private lands. A few months ago, we teamed up with our friends at Trout Routes, and they have made our lives a lot easier when it comes to planning our fishing trips. Trout Routes is an app designed specifically to help anglers like you and I find and access more trout streams. Uh, there's a lot of cool features on here between finding public versus private lands, finding parking areas, campsites, not just about for fishing fishing, more for your entire fishing trip, which is pretty cool. So one of the issues that we often run into when planning a trip is figuring out where we can actually access the rivers that we want to fish. With trout routes, not only does it show you the distinction between public and private land, but it also highlights public access points and parking spots near the river. So if you'd like to check it out, there is a free version on iOS and Android. And if you'd like to upgrade to the pro version to access all the features, including real-time stream conditions, public versus private land distinction, and offline maps, you can do so by visiting the link below. And luckily for all of you guys watching, we are offering a special discount. You can get 20% off your first full year of the pro version if you use code SBD3 at checkout. So that is all linked below we highly recommend it I think you guys will love it too and let's get back to the video dub this one the Madison River special because this is where Adam and I started having to first do this but essentially what happens is you have a very strong upstream wind and it pretty much negates any current that you're in and you kind of just either sit there or go back up river which is kind of amazing but when you're a raft it's highly practical that that happens so for the most part we've been rowing backwards today which isn't the worst thing with streamer fishing because that way our streamers aren't being thrown right back into our face. But it's kind of annoying because I don't know where the hell I'm going. I get shallow sometimes. But you gotta do what you gotta do to get down river and catch the fish. So that's what we're doing today. We're rowing down backwards. All right, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you in real tight here so you can fish this up until this thing here. Yeah, perfect. Once you get it back in that current, just pass back in. There's no point in running in the current right now. There right. he is. It has been Keep absolutely nuts today. One of the better <laughs> days of streamer fishing I've ever had in my life. We have seen more fish than I've maybe seen like all year. I think those small ones are, oh, that was fun. <laughs> it's been really one fly working today. A nearly ramp to ramp for Bryant and I has been the Sculperino in Olive and it has been, it's been tearing them up. Oh, oh. This is insane. We really kind of got dialed in a little later in the float. So just go show you, you know, you just got to keep keep at it. Every single fish that you find and teaches you something. Learn something from it. Start looking for those patterns. All right, my guy. Good fight. He's a little trooper. Here he goes. Whew. God. He skirted from the shot. 
Oh, there is the launch pool. There he is. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Come on, guy. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Come on, baby. It's very hard. Hell yeah. We've got on a little bite here. This is my biggest fish so far. Look at the blue in, the, in that dorsal fin there. So cool. Big head on this guy. He's probably done that on that shallow place probably a hundred times today. Well, Bryant, what'd you think of the day? It was insane. One of the better streamer days I've had in a while. It was a good day. You needed that. We got after some fish. It was a, it was a good day. And all we had over. a good breakfast. And we had a great breakfast before we went and did it. Well, guys, I'm about out. I'm, I'm going to go run this uh, motorcycle shuttle. We'll see you later. I lied. Uh, we weren't quite at the takeout. Uh, we are now, though. There's the takeout. And uh, so I caught another one. Well, our shuttle bike either was towed or stolen. I'd assume if someone towed it, they would have left a note of some sort. Or it got stolen. So that's where we're at now. It sucks. Oh, someone, someone hit it. Man, they went through a lot of effort too. This thing is not joking hidden in this brush. What in the world is going on? I didn't notice this when I put the bike up, but I guess this signifies the bike is right here. I've personally never had issues leaving the bike. It's got a lock, but never be too safe, I guess. Maybe someone around here knows something I don't about leaving a bike unattended. Y'all tear them up or what? Oh, dude, we absolutely racked them. The biggest one was like 19, 18. God. Yeah, it was, it was on. It was absolutely on. I didn't want to stop. I walked down there and just caught three out of one hole. There's one. There's another one. My goodness. Anywho, um, there's no way you're fitting my missed fish on the board today. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> I, I maybe that 11 is true. I legit no. I probably hit 20 something today. <laughs> the orange lights of home. I know. That's beautiful.